Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. To all of my new subscribers, welcome. And all of my heavy hitters, welcome back. So as you can see, I'm about to do some stuff in my newest baby. This is Kiki and she is the newest addition to my planner lineup. I added her after I filmed my 2019 lineup video. So basically what she will be doing, she will be an add-in and a replacement to speak. So I have a classic planner that I was gonna use for my business, social media and YouTube um, planner, but after being wooed by another planner babes planner i decided to get me a b6 tn this b6 has six strings so i can hold about six inserts without jump banding it jump banding means just you're adding more inserts um, than the actual strings that are currently in the b6 allows so anyway <clears throat> so this b6 is going to be strictly used for her lovely plan, social media, and YouTube planning. Um, so I do wanna still make it fun and I still wanna do plan with me's. So what I'm gonna do is set up my monthly layout as well as my weekly layout for the week of December 31st through January the 6th. So before I get into the plan with me, I do wanna do a flip through of my setup and I like doing that at the beginning of every year which is the first time I really did it but anyway so let's get right into the setup flip through okay so this is my adopted TN what do I mean by adopted so everyone knows that I have baby baby was created for me from scratch but Kiki um, I bought from a BST group better known as buy sell trade and I apologize if you hear the noise. My bonus son is enjoying his new birth um, Christmas gifts. But anyway, so I adopted this beauty. Um, she was a two owner TN before I purchased her and it was in really good condition. Only had one small stain, but you wouldn't even know it's there because it's covered up with some die cuts. But this TN didn't come with anything, so I had to add on this bow that came from my, I believe this was either Villa Beautiful or Simply Gilded kit. Um, and then I bought this cute little charm from Michaels. I thought it was perfect, it colors match with the gold. Um, and then I added my vinyl name um, decal on here from Tarshell B. So let's see the setup. So I'm still working on the setup, so um, bear with me. Hopefully, once I have it fully set up, I can come back and do another video. And I apologize for the glare because I do have my lighting on. So as you can see, I just put some die cuts on the side. These were actually some stickers that I laminated. And behind here are some sticky notes from the um, LOL line. And then this cute little sticker right, well it's actually a die cut I got from the Honey Bee Shop and it's a little planner girl. And then I have my inserts in which I, um, these are reusable dashboard covers and I'm still trying to get my verbiage y'all. Um, but these are reusable dashboard covers that I made and I just cut some cardstock and just added some um, different type of decorative papers and die cuts in them so this beautiful girl will go from planner to planner that's if I decide to get a new cover but I so love this color this will probably be it I don't think that I will get Kiki a new outfit but this is Kiki and since this is my social media and YouTube um, planner I thought it would be cute to kind of put some like um, goal oriented girl power kind of um deco or in here deco in here so this is just some paper that i cut out i have some acetate and this is my monthly insert in which i will be doing a setup for this 
and this is dated. I got this from Jacinio Principles. And then on the back, I do have a pocket that I actually adhered. I didn't make a pocket on this one. And I just have some die cuts on here as well. And this is another um, insert that I use. And this just says, live boldly, push yourself, don't settle. And this is another insert. And I believe I got these from Press Teen Principles. But I will double check the name and leave the link in the box. And this one I did make with a pocket. And then I just stuck this card in here that came from the Honey Bee Shop. And then in the back I have some um, little cardstock that I put in here and the next one says heels and hustles and I thought this little die cut would be perfect right there um, some vellum and this one is like my daily review so I will be covering this part up um, probably some washi or a sticker just because this will be um, my go-to part where I can write what I actually did get done so I can kind of track to see what my consistency is. So this is kind of like my little consistency um, area. Then the other side of the vellum, more die cuts. Um, and this is a uh, piece of cardstock that I cut and stuck inside of the laminate dashboard cover. And the same right here. This one says, yes girl. And this will be where my YouTube stuff will be and I just put this die cut here with the phone and I put the little icons for YouTube these were stickers that I got from various companies and this is where I'll just jot down my YouTube schedule um, YouTube ideas um, and then I can kind of track and just formulate a specific schedule for my YouTube channel um, because I want to keep it on a consistent schedule so each day you know what will be filmed. And then on the back I just put the little boss babe. And then here is a die cut. And all of these die cuts like this did come from Le Cinq Alt, which is shoplca.com. And if you shop her website and put in 20 Her Lovely, you'll get 20% off a purchase of $10 or more. So this is look my little note section. This will just be my little dump. Uh, if I have an idea that come off to the top of my head or I just want to just notate anything, this will be here. And then I have an extra string that I am saving. Um, can't really say what I'm saving it for. I have some pending things that are um, in the works, but this string will be for that um, once I get some word back on those pending decisions. I will let you know what this section is for. But until then, let's get into my monthly and my weekly plan with me.
care you guys so i am finished my first monthly and weekly in my b6tm and because it is new year's um, i am using a lot of the same kind of colors and washi and things like that um, across the board i'm not sure if i'm going to use the same thing in my um, classic planner when i set it up but I'm really enjoying these purples and silvers and things like that. So this is the monthly insert in which I'm gonna use lots of washi and I'm trying to incorporate some of the um, planning style that I've um, started to grow to like um, that I've been um, seeing when I watch these TN setup videos um, because I just wanted to see, you know, if it was a different way of planning um, in them versus how the planning was in a happy planner. And I'm all about trying something different and new to see how it works in with my planning style. So I'm really loving doing the washi with the flag style to it. I really think that would be a uh, something that I will incorporate in all of my planners because I really, really like that. And this will kind of encourage me to use all of this washi that I've been hoarding in which, as I stated last year, 2019 no more hoarding so um, I did um, use some pretty much all of this is from the Villa Beautiful um, December celebrate kit the only thing that is not from the kit are the icon stickers which are the birthday ones that came out of the mini super mom book and as you all know January 20th is my birthday but also my siblings birthdays are on the 16th and the 18th so I wanted to specify that in my planner um, so let's go ahead and look at the weekly so the weekly I really wanted to try to use the um, setups that I've seen in a lot of the tens because in my standard size I kind of stayed true to my mini planner um, planning style but I wanted to use the kit to the full capabilities so I'm really really liking this now my um, weekly is a little different um, I know most of the weeklies that I've been seeing were they're either two or three pages um, some are even four um, but I wanted to kind of see how it worked with it on one side um, and then on this side with the dot grid I can kind of make this however I want to make it um, and it worked out because this side will be for my um, Instagram that way on the days that I want to post only reason I didn't include Monday just because I probably won't post anything um, on Monday other than pictures from the video that's going to come up for that day but um, for the most part um, this I use these stickers that came out of the newest sticker book which is the journaling sticker book and I used the day covers on both sides from that um, sticker book all of this came from the gold mine and cocoa kit the only thing that is not from there is this doll sticker that came from the Villa Beautiful kit and then these gold foiled um, YouTube icon stickers they came from a train designs by CJ plans um, but I really think this is super cute oh and I can't forget my simply beautiful my simply gilded washi um, I did use that in here um, just to add some more gold foiling to the layout and I know you're probably saying well where are you gonna write typically in my social media planner I don't do a lot of writing um, I just normally depend on my icons and tell me what I do need to do but I did leave enough space for me to write anything if necessary um, I can write here 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 and these are half boxes and I can write in these half boxes if necessary so it's all cool so I'm kind of feeling this new setup again it takes a little bit to get used used to because um, I'm used to like popping out the pages however it is still very easy to plan because there's no calling here um, the only thing that I you know would have to do is maybe use a clip to keep it open as I get further along in the pages um, like this I'll probably have to use the clip as I get further along but who knows once a little bit of wear and tear get to it I might not even need a clip 
um, and I kind of double layered because what I decided to do after the fact was to put the Instagram icon there but this paper is a little thinner than um, the normal paper that you would find in the planners so when I went to peel it up it started to tear so I just put the icon sticker here and then put another sticker over top of it which is cool with me so this is my monthly and my weekly and my b6 i hope y'all enjoyed it um again i am super super happy about b6 kiki is an amazing addition to the planner fam and I can't wait to do more playing with me's in there. So if y'all have any kit recommendations, cause I think I wanna stick with using kits in my um, traveler's notebooks. Um, and I probably will use some of my um, Happy Planner stickers as well um, and other stickers. Let me kind of zoom out so you can see everything. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes in regards to what I use, but I would really love to use some more kits. Um, I like the way the kits come with like the day covers and the dates. Um, this particular kit, I think I already used the date covers. I can't remember if date covers came with that or not, but nevertheless, it all worked out and I love it. So if you like this video um, and you want to see me do more setups in my B6 on a weekly basis, drop me a comment below. And also, if you like it, give me a big old thumbs up. And as well, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream. And as well, share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan, and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.